Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. The Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500 slid on Tuesday as a recent rally on Wall Street lost steam. The 30-stock Dow slid 0.22%, the S&P 500 inched lower by 0.06%, and the Nasdaq Composite gained 0.31%. GitLab jumped 11.5% after the open source software development platform beat at quarterly financial expectations and issued strong guidance for the current quarter. Neo climbed 1.5% after the Chinese electric vehicle maker reported narrowing losses in the third quarter. Tuesday's moves followed Monday's losing session for all three indexes, which called into question whether the market had run up too far too fast. Monday's pullback came on the heels of five consecutive positive weeks for the three averages. Despite their recent performance, the three indexes are still up on the quarter and year. That underscores the strength of the market's rally leading up to the current trading week. Stocks came off session lows on Tuesday as the US 10-year Treasury yield fell below the key 4.2% level. The move came on the back of data signaling cooling in the labour market. In US sector news, technology shares were boosted in particular following the data, pushing the Nasdaq into positive territory for the session. Notably, mega cap tech stocks Apple and Nvidia each added more than 2%. Energy was the worst performer. The Russell 2000 fell more than 1% on Tuesday, reversing course after bucking the downward trend on Monday. Still, the small cap index has jumped more than 5% over the past month, raising hopes of a broadening market rally and interest rate cuts from the Federal Reserve on the horizon. Shifting to the Australian landscape, a sharp decrease in coal and LNG exports has led to Australia experiencing a balance of payments deficit, which is expected to drive the annual economic growth rate below 2% for the first time since the pandemic recession in 2020. Economists are revising their forecast for the September quarter national accounts with expectations of a 0.5% expansion. If this outcome aligns with expectations, it would result in the annual GDP growth rate dropping to 1.9%, marking the first time GDP has expanded by less than 2% annually since the onset of the pandemic in 2020. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.4% gain. Thank you for listening.